times he put the damn groin monster on her Lulu. I gotta write my Lulu. I gotta write my <laughs> right fucking... the Lulu? Yeah, I fucking scissored her Lulu. Like... What are you referring to, my brother? That is Bro, what's going on? crucial. <laughs> he said, I scissored her Lulu. I scissored her Lulu. Uh, I just, when you said Lulu, I just thought that's scissoring song, came in my mind. Oh, yeah. and I was like, Don't huh? that's a song. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Scissor my song. Yeah, it's a juggalo song. A scissor. A scissor to Lulu. <laughs> Band name, I call it. Huh? Band name, I call it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lulu Scissors. Okay. Ah, there it is. Went down. Lulu yeah. Scissors. Oh, Lulu Scissors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <I'm> Lulu Scissors. <laughs> He's a rapper. You remember who Lulu is? Oh, Lulu is. Yeah, that group from the 90s used to play in Athens. Mm. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> here Ladies, we are. Man, here we are again with these two. WRBN, the Warner Robins Broadcast Network, w- the w- podcast. W- welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome Steak Knife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I was. He said, mm hmm. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Gaddy. I don't know what that is. I just found you never it. watched Welcome Back, Cotter? Oh, yeah, you're no, talking about the weed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. mine. I just lived it. Was so so uh, should I tell my joke? <laughs> yeah, let's hear it, man. All right. So. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's how we do it. Let's hear it. I was about to say some foul He's, shit. He's standing in front of his girl, butt naked. He's she's looking him up and down, and she starts laughing hysterically. Not to worry, though. He says, "I know it's not twelve inches, but it smells like a foot." <laughs> huh? He said. He said. Huh? <laughs> huh? Get some of that. Get some of that. Get some of that one. I kick you right in the ice hole. Yes. What up? Arse. What I call him a while ago? But, uh, I caught we was talking about. People get offended. We was talking about me having a mural of me naked on this wall. <coughs> kind of like the uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, Burn East, uh, Bur- Burnt, Burnt, Burnt Deadwood. Out, out on the coast that's on fire right now in the oil slick. Um, no, uh, Bert you know, the, yeah, yeah, Bert, the Burt uh, Reynolds. Lancaster is what yeah. I was thinking. Bert no, I'm just kidding. No, Burt uh, Reynolds. Humperty. Yeah. Engelbert like, Humperdinck. Humperdinck. Like, like, you know, it could be me, though, laying out there. And uh, yeah. what I call them? My, my Ginobili's or something? Uh, I was like, yeah, I could put little grapes over my... Uh, uh, Manscapes? I don't know. I forget what I call it. No, I didn't call it my dingleberries. <laughs> yeah. There's a ghost in I the put, room. I put grapes <laughs> over my dingleberries. <laughs> it was so funny. What a great name yeah, for a money show. It was genitalia. It was the original, but it was Jenny Bells or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, anywho, thanks. Jenny Bells. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It was great over like my that. Jenny Bells. It was funny. Put, put your grapes over my Jenny Bells. Hey. <laughs> it's like a fucking thing with this guy. Take it oh. back. Take it back. Take it back. Here we are back again. We got Steak Knife and Danny. We're back on the track. We're we're back in this back in the set. Like an old hooker. Like back a, on the track. <laughs> back in the back. Oh, back, yes. He's back, the, back on her tracks. Yes. You know what I mean? Back she's the, she's the, she's the, back We're getting around. Yeah. Car my, to car. My, I handed it to you. you. put it out last time I handed it to you. 
Yeah, yeah. you know what? Yes. Yeah. I see how, <laughs> see how you think that it is. <laughs> I see how you think that it is. So, think that what is. happened next? <laughs> what happened next? As far as where we where we leave off, <laughs> yeah, look yeah. 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 <laughs> where we leave off. We left off after, after, um, to whom it may consume, and uh, yeah, we we gave a lot of stuff you, away. You went to ATL. Yeah, well, I, I used to go up there and back, up there and back, up there and back, and uh, then. Uh, our stuff that got around was doing pretty good underground wise in Atlanta, and then um, we ran into a uh, Denny met a guy named Rob Kelly, and Rob Kelly really believed in us too, and um, Rob Kelly, yo. and um, he would try to. There he is. Are he you would, here, Denny? I, I I was wondering if you were here. Yeah, I don't need yeah, this. Okay. I'm good. Um, he he managed uh, us. At the time, and he would try, you know, not a lot would come of this and that, but he all, he, he had a friend named Nate Smith that he would say, you know, you need to check these dudes out. And he gave him the CD once we got it done. And Nate was really like, man, you know, Nate was from Boston. Um, and and he wasn't. Uh, really? Yeah, he was, he, he was just mo- really, <laughs> you know, an old school, you know. Bean Town. He's a real dude. And uh, he was like, he was like, uh, man, I ain't really fucking with no white boys. Like, all right, I don't get it. I right, he just didn't get it. You know what I mean? And uh, Rob would say, uh, look, man, if you meet these dudes, you're gonna want to sign them. Blah 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 blah. And so Rob, Denny, and Brooks, and I think Lucky had a house together. <clears throat> had a house together, and I was up. Uh, we had a studio in it. We had a few houses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he comes in. Good job, man. Good job. Right. That was slick. Yeah, that yeah, was slick. yeah. Thanks a lot. That was yeah, slick. Was steak putting his two cents in. And uh, the, but we, Rob. Used his car one day or something, his Mercedes, and left it at Denny's somehow, and um, kind of got Nate to come over there while we were recording, and um, Nate came in and we was all you know actually, you know I was the, I was just drunk as hell, and um, imagine that, <laughs> yeah, imagine, and uh, God singing. Uh, what were you singing? I'm thinking again. I'm thinking again. I'm drinking again. Okay, I was, that, I was Southern Disco. And oh, Nate was. That's my, one of my favorites. Yeah. Of all times, dog. Oh, cool. Freestyle the whole thing. Freestyle the whole shit from the top to the bottom. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Just, no, you're right. Yeah. yeah it was, I, I like to hear that. I forgot about that. And Nate. So if y'all do that shit right there, I'll sign it. And I, was, and I didn't really want to sing, but I had never had a record deal either. So I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. I don't give a fuck. And I was drunk. You know what I mean? I was like, hell yeah, let's run it. You know what I mean? And um, Then we met Giz. Then we met Giz, his brother, and he did some. Blue swing. Blue. Yep. Who's Giz? Giz is Nate. Gary Smith. It's Nate's. Uh, younger brother, and um, he produced, made what? beats. Uh, tell him who Nate, Nate, uh, Nate Smith uh, was Bobby Brown's manager, and also Tim and Bob who did Boys to Men and all the. No, yeah, they did the. They, I, I know they for like, sure did the thong song. Yeah, they they yeah. produced the thong song. Got, yeah, and uh, we're going to that. Yeah, he's he did a lot of stuff, man. Man, kick ass. He's just a, so uh, signed. So we're signed to Destiny. <laughs> what happened? My shoulder hurts. I know, mine too. I can man. feel it popping. Um, I saw the sign, and it opened up my eyes. I saw the signs. I saw the sign. 
You gotta hold your mouth like this when you sing that. Sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> just just, just let it relax sing. and just be like, I ain't saw the change. It ain't that my eyes I saw the change. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tierra. Yeah. He called her Tierra. What? What? Sierra. Saturday, June the 10th, we have plays the hottest little party in the Midwest at 7 p.m. with Framing the Red and Scotty Austin. Caven Rock, Illinois, United States. Arrow. Wednesday, June the 14th, rehab at the Stadium Bar at 7 p.m. With Closure, Framing the Red, Scotty Austin, Springfield, Illinois. Come get it. Thursday, June the 15th, rehab plays the Jefferson venue at 7 p.m. Closure, Framing the Red, and Scotty Austin, Jefferson, Ville, Jeffersonville, Indiana. And then and then you got signed. <coughs> then we got where are you at? Signed to Destiny. Signed to Destiny. And uh, well, we did the demos. Okay. Demos, what happened? I'd like to hear those. Um who's got that? We did <laughs> You could probably got it. We did Chico and the Man was one of the songs. I do got that. Um, one, and then we had this one that was an ACDC sample. That no, was, uh, no, I don't have that. You know what's crazy is, though, I was what in is a that? lot of shit when uh, we got with Gary Smith, Gizzo Music, or Mood Scene Music or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I always thought that I was there with Danny and Brooks would never show up. When I shared that shit with D, D was like, nah, you never showed up. Brooks was always there or some shit. And I was like, damn. Well, Brooks was always late as fuck. Late, he was sleeping, would, but you know, he'd get there. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot of great things, you know. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> That's great. I mean, history, dog. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's a crazy... Crazy, uh, <laughs> crazy turn of events, man. That that. Okay. So, all you know, it's just crazy. So, but I was there for a lot of hot shit. Yeah, you were there yeah. for a lot of hot shit. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, and for so, a, what what happened? A lot more hot shit. What after happened that. in the timeline? Um, I think one we had to go. We had we had a we had a studio session one day. Um. Steak didn't show up for that, and damn, uh, I'm not meaning that anyway. I was like, and me and Brooks were sitting there, and it was like, you know, and Brooks was just like, you know, fuck it. We got to do this, finish the song, do this shit. And uh, we did, and then the demo got out to um, this shit. guy at, <laughs> This guy at Noontime Records in Atlanta. Noontime. Um, yeah, he, he got a great memory. It just got got around. It got around his dude at Noontime. He had shopped it and got us a lot of interest in New York. And when the word is when he, what I heard is when he worked his way down the line trying to find us because he didn't know who we are, didn't see us or nothing. You know, when he worked his way back down the line. He ran into Nate Smith, and Nate was like, oh, no, I got them signed, cuz. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So Nate really knew he had some shit then. and Because somebody so, else coming to him. Yeah, and then so we uh, blah, 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 ended up flying to New York, me and Brooks, and uh, met with Epic. They offered us a deal. Then the, then they, we ran into Jimmy Iovine, and he uh, said, don't sign that deal yet. Come out to L.A. And I want to see y'all on Sunday. So we fly out there, and he offers us a deal. And Which is the money spot. And and th through all that, we did Southern, uh, Southern Discomfort and all that shit. Um, weeded out some songs 
and then State got with Giz, and no, like so, but y'all went back and y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all signed with uh, Sony. Yeah, we signed with Epic. Yeah, but we signed with Epic. Jimmy Iovine had y'all come out. That's what I'm saying. That that's who y'all should have signed with. We should have signed with. But I was in jail at this time when this shit was going on because my fault and all that. And I wasn't. In, what, with, what, uh, what's, up what's up with that? Sony. What's up with that? Do you want to tell us? Well, what happened at the time? I mean, because he's telling me the well, story. Well, we went out and met with with uh, Jimmy Iovine and Ted Fields. And um, uh, and I got to meet Rico Suave that day, <laughs> and called my wife. And not that I'm a fan, but I knew that I, I was Hang sitting on. there talking to this What's dude. He was the head of the. What's the guy's name? Uh, Rico Suave. I I know the song. Uh, but he he's he's I the head of the Christian head of the Christian department at Interscope at the time. Anyway, I called my wife and I said, "Guess who I'm talking to?" She goes, "What?" And I held the phone up and he goes, "Rico, so suave." <laughs> she was like, "What bullshit?" So, yeah, she was like, "Bullshit," wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, said, yeah, hey, it was funny. Rico, suave. Schiff, Schiff was floored. <laughs> <laughs> she probably like, ah, whatever. She was probably like, whatever. Hey, Rico, suave. So we had the two offers, and we was. Going back, and I'm not a very smart smart person technologically, so we're coming back, and me and Nate are riding. Me and Nate are riding, and uh, he says, Danny, who, what company you want to go with? And my based, here was the way I formed my opinion. Does that hit say Geraldo like, Rivera? I see Geraldo. Geraldo, yeah. <laughs> what? He said what? To Rico. Geraldo. <laughs> Fucking, you're, you're, okay, Geraldo. So we're riding, right. we got, we got okay. the two offers. Sorry. Me, me and Nate are, are riding one day, and he goes, Danny, who do you think we should go with? And my dumb ass, not, I mean, I think it was the right choice because it happened. You know what I mean? So what are you yeah. going to do? What are you going to do? But, I think about it a lot, like Denny said. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, he said, who do you want to go with? And my thinking was, because I'm not an internet guy. I grew up outside, but I don't know nothing about it. I'm I'm like, New York's way closer than California. It was only an hour and a half flight, and I don't like flying. And you also love New York. So and I do love New York. You lived there on yeah. the streets for a while. Yeah, long, so. yeah. But... Well, for the streets, but oh yeah, oh, yeah. the mean was, streets. Uh, not like not like yeah. that, like not like corny bullshit. No, I mean fucking. Well, it no, was, it was corny, corny. I used to be in a dance tribe. It was corny. <laughs> he was used to be in a dance tribe. They were they were dance they were, gang, homeless tra- children Does that it had sound raggedy. Like corny? raggedy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it's real. It's real. It happened. Yeah. He's right. He's right. Yeah. But when you think of me it. now, when you look at it, you would think, <laughs> what was he doing? What was this dude doing? He was in a dance tribe. Yeah, I was in a dance crew. And we were kicking the styles. Hitting the streets. Yeah. They they were just, uh, they were the butterfly blades. I need to get another. (laughs) Nah, uh, but we were, uh, if I have. I don't even know what we were talking about now that I've went into warrior Butter mode. Butterfly plate. Okay, yeah, that was great. Warrior mode is what yeah. you going to say. I don't even know what I'm warrior talking about since I went into warrior mode here. Uh, uh, you were talking about... Um, <laughs> <sighs> no, going back to the, the record. What? Hey, man. Hold on. We got to stand. Come on, Terry. Give me that. Shh. Out of the shadows. Out of the shadows. White claw. <laughs> yeah, see, it's great. I, my it's modeling great. career was taken off at the time too. It was and uh, and he was in New York. Yeah. I was you, you, knew, you thought New York time. was closer than California. Like, yeah, that New was York. really was <laughs> California's it. It was like, warm was though. Was with that, California was JCPN probably the way to go. But New York's where hip hop was stamped at, and I always wanted, you know, as a youngin. But even though I was from the South, I always, you know, wanted to be a part of that. 
You know, I always, because that's where I learned from first as far as hip hop goes. You know what I mean? But anyhow, yeah, I don't know how we got there. So, yeah, Brad. What did you say now, Brad? <laughs> I'm going to say what happened next, because so you're in New York. Psst, put your headphones on. Like Don't act a fool, man. man. Come, on. Come on. man. No, you're fine. It's him I'm talking to. Oh, oh he can't. You're fine. Him. No, he don't he's fine. No, he doesn't have to. Like all that. He's like, he, he knows what he's fucking doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're all, we're all the Memphis Bells. Hey, Come on, man. He, this guy knows okay. what he's fucking doing over here. <laughs> Wearing the Derek Mack shirt to city council. T Mack. You know Boom, what it is. D-Mac. Big shout out, D-Mac. Hell Yo, yeah. Check, check. And big shout out, DJ Hurricane. You know what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> you run this shout out. On the People Station, um, WFUK. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Remember, I know where that comes from. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. WRBN. Uh, well, yeah. I want to rob his Brad We're going to get... Where? Rehabtheband.com, where you can get all of your news, tour information, music, videos, and our store where you can get all of your cool rehab merch. That's rehabtheband.com. Now, we're talking about uh, when you were in New York. Yes, I wasn't there. Oh, when we got the deal... Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah. yeah we oh, took that that where were you? Is what I was saying. I was where were in you? Jail. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't be sorry. I just want to know where, where were you at? What happened? It's too late to be sorry, Denny. You already did it. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> well, I'm people want to know. That's what I'm saying. That's why we're here. Yeah. No, I, I got locked up. I I found a car. I was walking down the street and shit in Midtown Atlanta, and I opened up the car and. Pulled the damn visor down and the keys fell on my lap and it was a brand new tag and I was like shit. It was a sign. I was like, I got you. yeah, it was like a, it was a message. You been blessed. I'm out. Yeah, I went in. Yeah, I went in. So I went up, went over to the spot and damn, uh, nothing was happening. And uh, so I waited. <laughs> In the car? Uh, I know I parked the car. I was inside the trap. I was inside the trap. When, uh, I was drinking gin. I don't need that beer. I don't like it. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, anyway, I got arrested. I didn't wake up until I was inside the jail. And I, Y'all don't want to hear that story. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway. Huh? <laughs> That shit gets foul, dog. I'm telling no, it's you, it's fine. Some it's fine. Shit. I was just trying to trying to bring us where we're at the timeline. What the hell? Why was why weren't you there? That's that's the only. I just I'm what I'm doing is playing devil's <coughs> devil's advocate. You was, see what I'm saying, steak? I'm playing devil's advocate for everybody at home. <coughs> no, Everybody's was, going, where was steak at? I was off were, to no good. Yeah. I was okay. fucking up. You know okay, what I mean? so you got sidetracked. Yeah, you I got, got derailed. I did okay, the wrong thing. okay. I taste the squirrel. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> got locked up hey, and life I was happens. In, uh, and uh, Decat uh, Decatur, so Cab me. County, the hot rise. So he caught, he you chased a squirrel saying? called a buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> what? But I, yeah, uh, this. Oh, I thought you wanted to give me that. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes you cough. I know you guys are coughing a lot. It's weird. No, nah, <laughs> so I, I fucked up, but I was in jail and they had a. They had a deal that was offered to them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And me and him was homies, like, growing up together. I had this opportunity to damn, we going to make this shit happen. Because, you know, everybody said we couldn't do it. And damn, I was locked up when that shit, when that finally fucking happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you guys got signed and you're fucking, that sucks. Yeah, and he had to make that, that, that yeah. decision, though, like, what do I do? Do I yeah, do this so, shit? Yeah. And I know it's But you had to roll yeah, on. It's crazy. Yeah. Especially, well, especially with and the the, uh, the the opportunity, I mean, at hand. You, you can't, everything comes in the fast. <coughs> but, you know, I've always tried to, you know, 
Be, hands up. Um, I've always tried to. Um, hands up. Yeah. Uh, that's what my wife says all the time. Um, so. Uh, hands up. Hands up. Uh, we were. Yeah, you had to make decisions. And, you know, but I always had in the back of my mind when uh, State gets back out of that situation, you know, it'll be fine. Just, you know, figure it out. And um, I think I, I've tried that a couple times. and uh, But Nate didn't really, you know, that one time. But it's all good. Um yeah, yeah. no, nah, like, dude, I, I wouldn't even, like, I remember the connection with Rob Kelly and Nate and all that shit that went down, but, you know, I was off on a binge, you know what I mean? Like, that's a, that crazy shit. So, when I was locked, I wasn't even thinking that shit was going to even happen, because we've been trying for so fucking long, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then it was like, what well, shit? And then when it happened, I was like, hell Yeah. But I did get out, and Nate's brother Gizzo that we talked about, moving music, all that shit. <laughs> music. <coughs> okay. I always had an S on the end of the words. Music. So, you got out. <laughs> you got out. <laughs> you got out. Ski. No, and I got signed. I got a solo deal. They were signed, and we were working together. We you got a solo deal. Songs. We were still writing songs like. We never even was separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, you know what I mean? Like, okay. And then how long did this go on before Cuz We Can came out? He got signed to uh, Priority. Second album. He got yes, signed sir. to Priority. And he almost got signed to Jimmy Iovine as well. And uh, uh, so they wanted a package deal with him and somebody else. And Jimmy was like, I'll... Mr. Ravine, because I don't know him like that. But everybody says Jimmy, because, you know. Hey, Jimmy. Because uh, yeah, hey, hey. Jimmy. it is synonymous with Interscope. Uh, yeah, it was Aslan. Yeah. yeah. Nate wanted to sign them. There's a package yeah. deal. All right. Yeah. So he ended up at Priority and uh, uh, worked with DJ Muggs from Cypress Hill. And yeah, some songs. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I quit. I, I don't know why I got to. Feel like I gotta tell your story. I, I didn't mean to talk that much. No, no, I'm just agreeing. I was hyping you up. I was like, I'm gonna no, I mean, you. no, I'm gonna hype me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He did a lot of fire shit, and uh, Giz was working with 112. Like around that time, yeah, but well, we surrounded a lot of, and we had met Cody Chestnut through all that, and th- that was a good time though to be around a lot of good artists. Aslan, Aslan, yeah, and uh, uh, Cody and Tim and Bob. All right, good shit. Nate and Giz were fun. So, so were. what was the, what was the 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 record that came out that you did? Uh, it never came out. Never came out? Never. Okay. So the first company that flew me out after I got out was uh, Capitol Records. And I flew out there with Giz and Nate and uh, talked to them and shit. Uh, Anyway, we went with uh, Priority Records. And then after I signed with them and started working on the album... Capital bought out Priority Records. Not saying no, 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 because no. I didn't go with them, but at the same time, I got dropped yeah. immediately when they bought it out. It's, so. the, it's the damn they got that catalog, and the when the big guy buy, you know, you get lost in the shuffle. Yeah. When the big guy buys out the little guy, the catalog that it, if you haven't recouped yet, them expenditures are fucking cheap. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, no matter, it's just a weird thing. You get lost in that shuffle, man. Yeah, it's almost like respect this. Yeah. Something. I don't know. I don't even know if it's like that. It's just that business is so fucking heartless anyway. I love that place, though. Yeah. Hollywood. Come on. (laughs) Yeah, Hollywood's cool. Wow, chill with Rick Rubin and all these other motherfuckers. 
No, I don't want to say that. Rick Rubin was cool. I mean, I ain't, I ain't mad at him, but shit, that'd be dope. I can't believe you got to do that, man. That's just so crazy. Get to hang out with Rick Rubin? Yeah. Record anything? Yeah, um, American Records. Is that the name of the company? Um, yeah, it was a dude that was looking for talent. And, uh, went over there. But I was just saying, I love the, I was telling Danny, and I forgot we were, we were recording, so <laughs> I was just trying to be proper and <laughs> as one should. Not, hey, as one should. At when a time watch, like this, yeah, you sh- you've always got to be proper. As one should. Proper. Proper. Mm-hmm. As one oh, should. Shit. It's a uh, it's a well known fact. It is. It is a well known fact. Oh yes. Big. I, I was just thinking about a segment we have every week. Big shot. At about this time, and what do you call it? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I do yeah, that's you. pretty good. I'm uh, trying, man. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna keep doing that. It's such a play. The sound's played out already. <laughs> and now oh, I'm man. just gonna. Keep, once I get good at man, it, man, I gotta I get up on my nose. Once I fucking I, get good at it, you some, want it? No, oh, you ain't good at it. Never. You ain't good at it either. Boom, 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 boom. Jesus, come shit. on. Well, it's gonna be big. Your shot this sounds week. like yeah, fucking. What? I, I don't know. Like, you know, whatever. Dump truck. Local. A dump truck honking. Sounds yeah. like local, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's this, local. This, well, anyway, this week, unreleased tracks, we got Big Shot. Oh, yes. Big Shot. Teacher. W-R-B-N. Open up your mouth. Oh, wait. I just went to Elvis Costello on that. That was uh, whatever. Hmm. That's my wife. Shit, fry. Yeah, right here. And she does the cheerleading at the end. Till I pull rhymes to a state knife, grab a microphone and cut right through him like a surgeon. No one in surgeon with a bomb strapped to the chest, loyalty to the death. Wanna rob in steak knife, Danny Boom. Boom, box, we rock, sell it out, fill a room with food for thought. And this is what he said. Got steak, I eat beets, and I make my own bread. Keep stirring the sauce, and I'll be back in a minute. Got a drop to make, and this track will be finished. Like the so called MCs, you can't do it. With the two and a half minute microwave music. No contest, no sir, I didn't do it. First of the felony went through it. Something discomfort. I didn't make it to it locked up, but I'm out. But he's back. Let's do it. Can't gotta work, don't sleep, stay alert, stay moving, gonna get it, never weak. When I spit it, they gon' flip, I'm the blip on your screen, done slipped up, slept, got slapped with a mean dose of reality. Flows run, butt naked through the mind, nervous wreck if I'm broke. I'm stepping on toes, cause they can't come close. I'm a daggone foe, what the doubt they had in the path I chose. On behalf of the ones with belief, I go for the gusto. Bust your teeth. If I must, don't trust any trend, won't pretend to. Been through enough, the path I can't undo. Stuck to my guns, continue to run through red tape, mate. His hoops I jump through the looks on faces. What does he not do? Box. Got a label called a boombox. 
just starting out, then my writing's like a bottom end. Once a day, bumping in your system, and I spotted them. Suckers trying to hold you back, you gon' be a spot. I'm wide up without cocaine, I'm straight fire. Spit blue flames, so it sounds cuckoo strange. But just wait, I ain't even let the new new bang. I may be cuckoo, but dang it, if I ain't doing my thing. That woman quick to make a hater's cranium me. Watch how it ends. The ending is the best part of the song. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. Be aggressive. Woo, woo, aggressive. <laughs> Chef said, "Ho, ho!" She just, she just, just had a momentary yeah. lapse of. Uh, it's like her whole brain melted. It that just, shit the same was great. Uh, you know, said, "Ho!" Oh man, that was great. Yeah, ship. Hey, shout out to Ship on that hey, one. But let me tell you something. You rocked it. Yeah. I do that all the time, and she can sing. Like a bird dog, right? Not like a bird dog, but like a like bird, a bird dog. dog. I hear you. You know man. what I mean? Yes, man. She can sing. That was that was that was great. I try to get her on some songs, but she won't do it. She don't even want to listen to my song. Great job, Steak Knife, on that one. What up? Yeah, killed it. Yeah, killed it. That was that yeah, was dope. Me, Danny Boone, Crisis. Yep. DJ Chris again, Crisis. right? Again. We did good work with Crisis. Me, Steak, and because. You know, we, me and Denny kind of think like DJs. You know, it's kind of like kids that always wish we yeah. could scratch and cut and whatever. And make beats. And yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Beats, be, making beats is kind of, you know. Being aggressive. Moving the ground. Or, yeah. Beats yeah. are aggressive. If your beats something. aren't aggressive, I don't, I don't know what to fucking think about you. <laughs> <laughs> Steak? Hey, you know what I'm talking about. Wait steak. a minute. I your, think your that's beats good, are aggressive. That's going to be the intro to my next album. It's just, can you say it again? <laughs> just do it one more time. Hold I on, need on, it. On. Give it to I, me. I got it. Hold on. <laughs> you got it? Yep. Hold on. All right. If your beats aren't aggressive, I don't know what to think about you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the intro to the album right there. That's the whole. That's just it. That's the most gangster shit. You know what I mean? Like, if your beats aren't aggressive, I, I don't know what to think about you. I just don't know what to think about you. Yeah. You know what? Aggressive. If your beats aren't aggressive, I don't know what to think about you. Now it's got it. It's out in the world. It's out. <laughs> it's it's out. to the album right there. That's the whole gangster shit. That's how it happened. Hey. Be aggressive is all I'm saying. That's all it is, cool. Hey, man. Thank you for listening tonight. If you like the podcast, please like, share, um, get down with us. You know what I mean? We're doing we're doing the hard work. Shit. And thank you. And follow us on all the sp- uh, all the socials, all the specials. Uh, come check out our Patreon. Check you next time. Interests, challenges, circumstances. We're out. Peace.